My name is Dia, and you're watching Martin Student News. college science credits without the AP test? Take on ramps physics. It's a GPA weighted dual credit course equivalent to AP Physics 1. If you want to know more, talk to your counselor or Ms. Benson in room 195. Hi, I'm Ms. Benson and I wanted to talk to you guys about dual credit. I am standing in front of the dual credit station that is located in the middle of the counseling office right outside of my door. If you have talked to your counselor already about dual credit, you should have gotten a QR code and scanned it. It's an interest form. You have to fill out that form to let us know that you are interested in taking dual credit and it will also take you through every single step that you have to do in order to be eligible to take dual credit classes. Dual credit, if you don't already know, it's an excellent way to earn both high school and college credit through TCC at the same time. Um, but the most important part that you need to do right now is if you're interested, if you have talked to your counselor, you have to fill out this form, this QR code here. It's also posted around the school, on posters around the school, and then a QR code here, somewhere here. Um, if you have any questions, talk to your counselor or come talk to me and I can answer it and tell you um, what the next steps are. All right, y'all take dual credit, good stuff. Congratulations to Martin's UIL One Act Company on advancing to the region competition. They received first place at every competition, making them one of the top 24 One Act companies in the state. Special shout out to Hayden Strawn, who won Best Performer for the second time, and James Connolly, who won All Star Cast. Also, Abram Hill, who won an honorable mention, and Hala De Leon, who won Best Technician. Incredible show, everyone. Let's break a leg at region. Students and teachers, Student Council is hosting a volleyball tournament here on April 17th and 18th after school in Gym B. Teams need a minimum of six players and a max of 10. Team entry fee is $40, spectators can pay $5. This is a fundraiser towards prom cost. Please fill out the QR code here or on the flyers around the building or on the Martin Instagram site. Signups are now and they last until Friday, April 14th. Be there, Sp spike the ball. Congratulations to the Martin Warrior tennis team. Last week, they competed at the district tournament and did an outstanding job. Girls doubles placed first and second, boys doubles placed second and third, mixed doubles placed third and fourth, girls singles placed second and third, and boys singles placed third. Seven individuals will compete at the regional tennis tournament next week. Go Warrior Tennis! Thank you to everyone who donated or attempted to donate blood in the Spring Blood Drive. The Red Cross set our goal at 45 units and we gave 75. Seniors who gave three units will be notified when their cords arrive. Good job, everyone. Attention class of 2023 seniors. Senior send-off and senior graduation are getting really close. We need pictures of you, seniors, and your senior Martin friends doing senior things. Send them in through this Google form. These photos will be featured in the senior slideshow at senior send-off and graduation, where seniors will be walking the stage as Martin students for the last time. Again, we want group photos of Martin seniors for the senior slideshow. Send in your pictures, seniors. Black Student Union's basketball tournament that was scheduled for tomorrow is being postponed to April 26th. Spread the word and sign up. Flyers will be posted around the school. Happy Poetry Month! The annual Martin Poetry Slam will be held in the library Thursday, April 13th during lunch. Present one of your original poems for a chance to win a great prize. See Mrs. Severns in the library for more details and to sign up. See you there! What? Hey man, how's it about? Hey, wait a minute, where's the soap? Yeah, I'm not really sure myself. Yeah, sure buddy. Tell that to the judge. The trial of Bimbo Gibbons versus the student body is now in session. Prosecution, if you would give your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to present the first witness in this case, Gimme de Bibbins. Your Honor, I was hanging to the bathroom, and then I saw him at the emptied soap dispenser with a guilty look on his face. Thank you very much, witness. Now, I'd like to hear the defense's response to these allegations. 
That claim's completely slanderous. I call an objection against that statement. <laughs> How foolish of you, you the defense, to claim such things against me, the awesome prosecution. If you look at the evidence I have right here. Uh, there's nothing? Just... We are just an idiot. My client's completely innocent. All right, look, we get it, defense. You're going to be petty about this, but like the prosecution's got a point here. Oh, so now the defense wants to be the bad guy instead of the prosecution like it always is? Sure, buddy. Oh, now both of you are being stupid. Both of you need to shut up. This, this case is over. We're done here. All of you suck at debate. And if you don't want to be terrible at debate like them, take Mr. Newton's debate class. Debate will help you explore and expand your critical thinking skills and will help you tackle various interesting questions about the world around you. You'll learn to consider other perspectives and how to better argue for your own outlook while getting to meet and interact with many people. Take your speaking skills to the next level. Take debate today. Also, be sure to look after the bathrooms to keep a situation like this from ever happening to you. I'm a bird. I'm a bunny. And you just watched Marston News. Yes, sir. Your fun fact today is... We have a four-day weekend. And remember, be a warrior. Be a leader. And be the reason someone smiles today. And have a happy Easter. Bye. I'm not a bunny. <laughs>